Hello, my family. It is mail call, y'all. Um, so far, I have two and a half more weeks before I get to go back. I keep hearing that things will be much better when I do and I finally get my permanence because where I'm at is so far the denture putty does help. I've been able to take these floppy things and hold them in place at the moment. I have learned that they're very dull. I tried to eat a salad. Oh, I want a salad so bad, y'all. Who would have ever thought? But these things, my training wheels, you can't even chew lettuce. Go figure. I would have never thought that you can have things in your mouth that couldn't even chew lettuce. So if what everybody says that those permanents of mine are going to be so much better, I'm waiting. I'm absolutely waiting for it because right now I'm eating anything that I can just eat, basically. I don't like it. A lot of it has been unhealthy food, and I want my lifestyle back, to be honest with you, but I'm taking it one day at a time. So I got two and a half more weeks before I go for my fitting for my permanent. So in the meantime, um, uh, I wasn't really going to do much today, and then I thought, no, you know what, don't, just don't go there. So, I came on here, and I decided to be with my family instead, instead of moping, basically. So, here is what we have. Um, I am actually going to be able to make a supper tonight. I am actually going to be making a garlic parmesan uh, olive oil pasta that's what I'm having for supper tonight. It's a little bit more Mediterranean. I have been eating my Mediterranean beans, which I absolutely love. So, there's some pluses to this. Um, hang on one second. Okay, y'all. So, let's get on with the mail call. I have two really sweet cards that came in the mail and one of them really shed a tear in my quiet time sometimes I don't tell anybody what I go through or nothing you know I'm used to being the one who's there for everybody else but and when I'm not feeling well I'll just put it that way I just stay to myself you know but Miss Norma Jones if you are watching this, this couldn't have come at a better time. I opened this card up and literally I went into tears as I was reading it. And I want to thank you so, so much. Let me turn this off, y'all. I really want to thank you so much. And then... The three bookmarks, <laughs> my reminders, just like Miss Gina's reminders that I look at every day, y'all are amazing, absolutely amazing. I couldn't have a better family if I wanted to. And then I have another card from Miss Marion, or Marianne. Thank you so much, honey. And no, unfortunately, right now I cannot even chew a lettuce let alone eat an apple but i can have applesauce so there's that <laughs> but your card also i thank you so much for this y'all are absolutely amazing and you help me get by i mean i'm not used to this I i'm not used to healing being this long i mean honestly right about now and this is the crazy part of the whole thing. Right about now, after being shot, I was already outside and taking care of my homestead. Now, I was slow about it, but I was doing it. So, this one's taking longer. And it's only because I can't be able to do what I'd like to do. And sitting still has always been a challenge to me. So, I try to do what I can. 
and I'm being creative in ways of being able to get as much Mediterranean life as I possibly can. Beans are one I actually can now. So I've been doing a lot of that, but my body still wants more. So we're working on it. Um, I was able to eat some fish. I can do that now. So, but I'm limited. And then after the two cards, I actually have a package that came in. And this is from Miss Cherie Tinsley. Now, darling, I've not opened this up yet. I have opened the top and I'm kind of almost afraid to go in this because y'all, this is a care package. Once I opened up that top, I started realizing this is a care package and I'm afraid this is gonna be another one that's gonna make my eyes leak because the message that came to me already did. So yeah, here we go. Here we go, Sheree. This little package is pretty full and it's heavy. So I'm just going to go through this bit by bit and see what's in here. See, I knew. I just, I knew. Bless her heart. Yes, see, I knew it. So here's this beautiful necklace, which I am actually fixing to put this on. It says, trust in the Lord. See, you all know how to minister to me. You say that I help you. Really? You say I help you. And here you are. Each of you, through your cards, through your <laughs> bookmarks and inspirational pages and scrapbooking and your care packages you are ministering to me and you are getting me by every single day oh my goodness for with god all things are possible and yes they really are i can do all things in christ who strengthens me see Right here. Y'all, look. <laughs> Every day I could just choose one to wear. Or all three if I wanted to. They're assembled to let me know that everything's going to be okay. But please tell me. Any of you who've gone through this, please tell me when I can get my permanent teeth. When I get this done with my training wheels and I go on to the next level, please tell me I can eat a salad. That's what I want more than anything. I want a salad so badly. I know it's so crazy, but this is true. I will never, ever take advantage of certain type of foods in my life ever again. My garden, I'm watching all of this lettuce growing and wondering why I did that just before this. I will never take advantage of anything that I grow again. I will cherish it. Just please tell me. I'll be able to eat a salad again. And that will make me very happy. And again, now this one, Sheree, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do this because there's a second confirmation that with God, all things are possible. And you are absolutely right. And darling, this is fixing to get put on my wrist right now. This is a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous bracelet. My goodness. And it fits me. It, it's my style. It's who I am. It's, oh my gosh. I'm just an old country girl. And this is absolutely perfect for me. Leather band is perfect. Thank you so, so much. And I definitely will be wearing these too is my reminder every day I knew this one was going to be hard too a journal with naturally the stuff that says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me 
Y'all, this is absolutely amazing. She stuffed this little thing, y'all. She absolutely stuffed. Cherie, darling, what have you done in here? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Now see, I told you that was going to happen. It's a devotional, y'all. Something for me to be able to reflect on every single day. A devotional. And with it comes my book where I can take my notes. I don't have one of these. This is my first one. And I thank you so, so much for this. The leather binding, this is absolutely beautiful. So thank you, Cherie. Seriously, thank you. This is my first devotional I've, I've had. And then I've got a beautiful card from her as well. And I'm going to be reading this one a little bit later from her. And one other thing here. You see this one here. Okay, that is the cutest. Oh my gosh. I will put this glued back in. But what this is, the diamond fell out of it. But it's a pen with a diamond on it. Oh my goodness. Unique very unique I'm gonna take and glue that one back together because that one is really super cool oh my gosh sweetheart you have got to be kidding me so let me read this one to y'all Thank you for being such an inspiration, the one who needs you till the end. To my friend, a truly great friend is hard to find, difficult to leave, and impossible to, re to replace. You are irreplaceable. You are the one of those people who make my life better just by being in it. Hold on a minute. Okay, y'all, some mail call just hit you right to the core. And I mean right to the core. Um, this one did. I have never had anybody ever say that about me. I have read so many of your emails, your private messages. I've done so much praying for so many in this family of ours. And... As I watch us grow up and down, I am truly blessed every single day with you. I've heard so many times how you all say that I am such an inspiration to you and that, you know, some of you just love the fact to have family. And truth be known, you are the same for me. No one has ever said anything like that. And, and even somehow you know. I don't know how you know, but you know, and I just keep going on, you know, and reminders like these, and you keep me going, y'all. It's like somebody grabbed a hold of my hand right here. You grabbed my hand just as much as I grab yours, or at times you just grab me out from under my arms and you'll just walk with me. That to me is like the Lord kissing me on my cheek each and every day. And it keeps me strong. If there was anything, and the one that gets me the most, the one that I've always prayed for, and it was spoken straight out of the mouth of one of our family members, and I tell you, when I heard these words, 
I gave God all the praise and the glory and I seriously dropped to my knees in tears because all I ever wanted was everybody to see Christ through me. I didn't want you to see me because what I teach can help so many others and I know it can. I look forward when I can get back to doing and eating the way I did because it does make a difference and I'm going to tell you right now when I eat processed food right now honestly I've had to when I eat it my body can tell the difference my hair my skin everything and a matter of fact I'm actually getting ready to go get a haircut I, I just I do and I'm not getting it short y'all I like my long hair I'm gonna be honest I just need a style so I will be getting my hair cut soon too but I just I want to be able to reach out the Mediterranean life I fully believe in and that's the reason why this homestead is so set on it I had a setback for a little while I have a setback as I watch my vegetables outside and you know what I did we have picked three times now from our radishes and I could not eat them the way I normally do. I do get very frustrated. It's just who I am in nature. I'm used to being independent and being able to do what I like to do. I don't like being told I can't. I've been told I can't most all my life and now that word really irritates me for some reason. So to be told I can't makes me frustrated. So I took those radishes and I found a way to use them twice. <laughs> One time I literally took my mini food processor and I processed them up and I used them inside of um, some salmon patties that I made. Yep, I sure did. Uh, another time I took them and I roasted them like potatoes. I sure did. I made some gravy because I made some hamburger patties. And I had some mushrooms. So I pureed them up. And I turned them into gravy. I did. Just so I can get my vegetables any way I can. I was able to eat some sweet potato fries. I have done that and baked sweet potatoes I can do that and I love it uh, I am eating more potatoes than I would like to but I'm being able to eat I actually took some mashed potatoes and turned them into my favorite potato latkes so I had that as well I'm finding creative ways to be able to eat Mediterranean but I still miss things like my salads and stuff like that so I'm slowly being able to incorporate again this is going on about two and a half weeks and I'm Thursday will be three week mark two more weeks from there then I get to go back to the dentist get the impressions for my permanent so um, as of right now honestly these things have to be glued in my mouth so bad because they are really loose there is no structure to them to hold at all and if it were not for that an adhesive and the dental putty I don't think I'd be able to eat anything personally because I heal much differently than most people I do heal fairly quickly so but my body has been taking a toll y'all I have had my blood pressure dropping I've had it rising and it rose because well I was I was in pain um, my weight is up and down I do a lot of processed foods right now and I am feeling every bit of it but after two and a half weeks I'm going back to the gym because I think that would help me I'm stressed I can't even sleep right so I'm gonna go to the gym and I got to go outside I fixed up my little um, cook station to which probably tomorrow we it's supposed to be a beautiful warm day we are going outside and we are going to be doing our video at the table that I made outside I am looking forward to that to get out of this house now there is something new that my husband decided to do for me is 
which is, I don't know if anybody else has had any of these. Um, it is definitely a major adjustment, but my husband installed a security system to this house now, and it has cameras outside. <laughs> so when I'm working, it can be a bit annoying, but hey, we're secure. So anyways, um, I'm looking forward to that. I am also, I don't sleep very well right now anyways, so I'm probably going to be doing some canning. I definitely need some more chickpeas, so I definitely will be doing some more of that. We will, um, I am going to do a demonstration. I had went through the process, and I'm going to tell you, I tried to eat my microgreens. They turned out absolutely amazing y'all perfect and I went and cut them and I couldn't they were beautiful flavor but I just could not chew them like I said I can't even eat a, I can't chew lettuce let alone microgreens so unfortunately the chickens got to enjoy it but one day and I'm looking forward to this my chickens will have their fair share because it will be mama's turn it will be this chicken tenders turn i will have my microgreens you can bet on it so in the meantime i am going to show you how to do the perfect way of doing microgreens that work they absolutely work so we're going to be doing that and there, our weather has gone up and down. We've had a lot of rain, and I have what, what we call city rats with fluffy tails called squirrels that are going through my garden. And so they, every time I plant a seed, they dig them up. I need herbs. So what I am going to be doing is planting indoors. I am going to start an herb bed with thyme, marjoram uh hang on i'll let you know what we're gonna grow okay so i am going to try spinach one more time we are going to do jeb uh, genovese basil dill thyme and oregano all of these are going to be grown indoors and the reason i choose these four the most because in my Mediterranean food these four are the most popular in everything from Greek to Italian so even um, Jerusalem so I am going to make big old batches of herbs once they're good enough then I can plant them outside in an herb bed half of it the other half of it I'm going to leave inside under a grow light and I'm going to grow them inside. One way or another, we are going to have herbs available always. So, we're going to be doing that. Um, just like I did my tomatoes and all this, I am going to be getting a seed tray, probably two. And I'm going to load that bad boy with nothing but herbs. This is what I want. This is prefer. I'd rather have the fresh than the dried. So we're going to be doing that as well when we do the microgreens. Um, until then, this is where we're at. So thank you all. Again, Cherie, Miss Marianne, and Miss Norma, thank you. All, thank you all for everybody that for all of your care packages, for all of your cards and your letters. I thank you so, so much to each and every one of you. You really do help me get through one day at a time. And you touch me right here in the fields. You know, I'm a tough old bird, but my goodness, you have a way of, yeah, making me realize I'm human. I'm not always tough, you know. Sometimes it's okay not to be tough, and I can rely on my family. So, thank you for that. I uh, thought I'd just give you a quick shout out. Um, I look forward. I am. I promise you all. I do one day at a time right now, but I will. I promise you we will be back full strong. 
hang with me as much as you can, please. Uh, we'll be back in this kitchen strongly. I just have to go through this. There's honestly, um, this is out of my hands. It's hard to say that. This is out of my hands. I can't do anything but wait it out. So, thank you for waiting it out with me. I love you all. And I'm going to get back to doing what I was doing. So, uh, and I'm also going to read this devotional. I really needed that. Some things just come in at the right moment at the right time. Bless you. Until next time, much love from Parton's Heritage Homestead.